like, oh, what? what? Hi guys, I am back for part two of my transitional job video. Um, hopefully this will take care of every question that you guys have, um, of everything that is going on, how I, just, just everything that's been going on with my life throughout the summer. Um, oh, this is bright in my video. Oh my gosh, my computer's bright, so let me go and turn that down. Okay, so... I, I ended with how I turned in my notice, my last day came, I get in the car after my exit interview, my last day comes, and I literally get in the car and God give me the biggest confirmation ever that I did what he said to do. So while I'm out of work, I'm thinking that I'm going to be back to work in a week and I had some promising jobs that I was waiting on and this one particular job, uh, I had to wait the next week on the manager, the uh, HR hiring manager to come back and then the week after that I had to wait for the other manager to come back. They were on vacation. So I waited approximately two weeks and uh, then I, I also had a part-time job. Um, I already was working a part and working a part-time job, but then I also was applying for another part-time job. So this means no benefits. This means no health insurance. And I literally need health insurance for myself and my son. And at this point, I'm I'm already a week out of work. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying getting the rest and getting the relaxation and getting the sleep. I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. But I know that I have to eventually get a job. So I'm then um, waiting and waiting and finally this job comes, my, my, this job calls, well, the, the lady from the temp agency call and she's like, they would like to have you for an interview on Monday. And I was like, oh, cool. This is like the, I think it was the third week in August. And um, I'm just waiting for my camera to focus, guys. Okay. And she's like, um, you know, they want you to come in, interview 9 a.m. Monday. And I said, that would be great. I'll, I'll be there. Uh, went for the interview and uh, the girl, there was two people on the interview, the man of the department the, and then the um, one of the girls, um, one of his people that work under him. And I felt like she wasn't feeling me. And I kind of didn't sell myself that well. And then they knew nothing about financial aid. So they didn't know the in-depth part of my job. They did not know the in-depth part of what I did. Um, I did a lot. And this particular position I was applying for was for a claims position. And I don't think they realized that I actually did a lot and that I could possibly do claims because of me, you know, doing numbers or whatever. And uh, yeah, so I heard, I, I went for the interview. It wasn't long. It was the shortest interview I actually ever had in life. And I don't think I sold myself well. And leaving the interview, I already knew I didn't get the job. I was like, I know I didn't get the job. I said, if I get it, it definitely would be God. Um, that was the particular job that I wanted. I really wanted to work there because I really wanted to work in the claims department to get claims under my belt. Well, I didn't hear anything back. Um, in the meantime, I had already this particular other job. I had already contacted them the this the week the Thursday before my interview with that job and it's their thing online said do not do not submit your resume call first because they wanted to hear your speech hear how you if you speak well things like that so I called and when I called um the gentleman that I had to speak with um we spoke and I assume he was impressed with my speech and um so he was like can you 
for can you go ahead and forward me your resume and so I, yeah so i went on and on in line and did that and forwarded him my resume that that uh either that wednesday or thursday i can't remember which day and uh in the meantime i hear back from the place to come for an interview i go go for an interview at the place that i really wanted to work at and uh, went for the interview that monday um also um that wednesday i want to say i want to say that wednesday i get a call from the other job that is the same job as i do as as i was already doing and i was like kind of not wanting to go back into the same field but i know i'm good in that field but i just didn't want to go back into it that's what I wanted. I wanted to go into a different field. I wanted to learn something else new. Well, I, that went, after that interview, I didn't hear anything back that, I still didn't hear anything back for a couple of days. I didn't hear anything back for a while. So in the meantime, after that Monday, I get a call from the place that I didn't want to work because it was financial aid and I, 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 and he called and he wanted, he got, he said he received my resume. He called me that Tuesday. Yeah, it was a Tuesday after that Monday. He said he received my resume and, um, that, you know, he, um, had some couple of questions. He asked me a couple of questions and I answered them and he, um, said, well, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to take this to the committee and um, I'll let you know in a couple of days. And I said, okay. I got a call back that Thursday and he asked me if I could come in for an interview. Um, that they were going to start interviewing candidates the next week. And I said, sure. And um, I'm sorry, my camera keeps going off focus. I don't know why it's doing that. But I, um, I said, sure. And he said, can you come in Monday? And this is the Monday coming up. And I said, sure. Um, so we went over a time and no, he asked me what day would be good for me. And I said, Monday. And, um, so he asked me for, t he looked at his calendar. He gave me a time. I asked if he had anything earlier. He said, no. So I went on and went in anyway, still anticipating that I might get this other job because God knew how much I wanted the other job, but I still was going to go on an interview for this job. Guys, I go, um, so the weekend goes by, I'm getting prepared, you know, that Monday of the interview, which was the last Monday in August, okay, it was the last, the Monday before Labor Day, and I went on the interview. And you guys, I have never had an interview that was so long before in my entire life. Okay. <laughs> the interview. Oh my gosh. My interview time was 11 o'clock. I got there around 1030-ish. And he was excited that I got there early. And um, guys, I did not leave that interview until about 10 minutes to 1. Okay. I had the interview with him, then I had the, he's an associate director, then I had the interview with the director. She and I talked for like an hour and a half, and then I met with the other associate director of compliance, and uh, it was really, really, really a good interview. I have never had an interview that good before in my life. Like, literally, I sold myself, I was ready you know they knew what i did they knew what i when i said something about federal regulations they knew what i was talking about i had to take two tests i had to take a federal regulations test and i had to take a verifications test i hadn't done verifications in a month at that point and i was like trying to remember everything i did and trying to remember everything i also um I had to type up a paragraph of something that happened at work. So I talked about something that had happened and how I forgave the person and how we got along and how she ended up being my boss and we ended up being the best of friends <laughs> after that. Um, so I typed that up in a paragraph because they want to see your grammar. So I made sure I had punctual grammar, they, grammar there. Um, and so interview was that Monday. I get a call on that next day. He was asking that morning for my references. 
So I said, okay. So I emailed him my references. I gave him four. He asked, he said he asked for three, but I don't recall the number he gave me. So I sent him four. And they were strong references. One was an associate director. One was a loan manager. One was the the uh, another loan manager. One was somebody who worked with me in my job before. And, and my last supervisor. I gave him the business. Okay. I gave him the information that he needed. So I get to... Um, I get to the, uh, I give him that information. So then I didn't hear back from him. And then my people, they was like, nobody's called me yet. And I was like, oh my gosh, Lord, the enemy tried to put fear and doubt in my mind. Because during this whole time I wasn't working, the enemy tried to tell me like, you ain't do what God told you to do. So then I started saying, God, did I do the right thing? And did I leave a job making that much money? Did I do the right thing? And then God had to bring me back to myself and, and let me realize I know I heard the voice of the Lord, Lord, and I know the Lord had told me to leave that job. Whatever's about to go down there, he didn't want me to have no parts of it. So I was like, so that was that Tuesday he got my, my references. He contacted one of my references on Wednesday. She messaged me. She was like, I just got a call and hopefully I gave him good information about you. That was my last boss. And um, yeah, like I was like, thank God. Good thing that she and I, I was good when I was under her. Like, literally, there's nothing that she needed that I didn't do. Pretty much, I took care of making her look good. And so, she knew that. And she gave good information about me. Um, and trusted me. That's the good thing is that she trusted me. And so, I was waiting for him to contact my other references. I heard nothing from them. They're like, uh, no, nothing here. So, I'm like, fear started coming in. Like, oh my God, like, what have, no, what have they changed their mind? Well, I get a call on the evening of that Wednesday, <laughs> before Labor Day. And he tried to go around the bush, like, like I didn't get the job. He's like, well, after reviewing a whole lot of candidates and after reviewing yada, 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 and I, um, we decided, and I'm sitting here like, oh my God, I'm on pins and needles. Like, oh my God, did I get the job? Did I not get the job? Like, what did I do wrong? Oh my gosh. He was like, we would like for you to join our team. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and what I forgot to tell you is on that Monday of the interview, before I got out my car to go into the interview, I got a call from the other job that I really, really wanted, the claims job, and the lady left a message, um, sorry, but they chose to go with another candidate. I was like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> so I get a, get a denial before going into the interview, but I didn't let that affect me. When I was getting out of the car and I was walking, and as I was walking into that building, I started declaring and decreeing, and as I was walking, I said, this job is mine. This job is mine. This job is mine. I said it three times. Father for the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I said it three times. This job is mine. And as I walked into that building, because the power, the power is in your tongue, y'all. The Word of God says you have power in your tongue. And I spoke that power on that day. And on that Wednesday, I got the call for the position. Now, he said that he couldn't give me what I was making, which I knew nobody was going to pay me what I was making. Um, but he got as close as he could. So I took about a couple of thousand dollar pay cut. But it won't be so bad where I can't pay my mortgage and I can't pay my bills. And I might not be able to shop that much no more but God gonna work that out too um so yeah and plus I have the God has blessed to where we have what we need so um but yeah um I took a pay cut but I'm all right with it but he said I know that you are he's already convinced that you're a person that will succeed and that you will grow and you will do and I say yeah I, I am that kind of person um so it was good to know that there is a room to grow with that new company and as as before they even called me, God had kind of gave me peace with going back into the career that I was already in. And he said, you already know what you're doing and go back into what you already know. So all I got to learn is the way that their school do it. But as far as federal regulations, that's straight across the board, the same, but just learning how they go about doing it and then learning the system that they're on. And so he asked me, well, when do you want to start? And I said, well, okay, uh, September 5th, which was the day after Labor Day. And he was like, perfect. <laughs> I was like, okay. So 
I'm getting ready on Labor Day, getting ready, getting clothes out and everything. In my mindset, I have a cube mentality. I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to have a cube. Let me go ahead and just take this one picture of my son. That's it. Um, just a couple of pens, pe pencils, um, highlighters. And I get to the job. I got there early and the one, the director came out and greeted me. And she was like, we're so glad to have you on board. And I was like, I'm so glad to be here. And uh, she uh, said, well, you're not on this side. I'm gonna walk you to the side that you're on. So I follow her. And as I follow her, we walk past the associate director of compliance. And she says, here's your office right here. Like, what, what, what? Office? <laughs> so I go in with a cute mentality, but God had an office mentality for me. I have a whole wall, a whole wall of windows. My office is big, okay? My office, my personal office is big. I have a whole wall. I'm not even in, I'm in financial aid, but I'm doing compliance. I'm not even, that means I'm not, I'm checking the work of others and not doing the work of others. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? And compliance is always what I really wanted to do because I always wanted to be an auditor, you know, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Yo, I have my own office and I was not expecting it. Like when I tell y'all, when God do it, he do it well. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, when God do it, he do it well. I could not believe it. And I tried not to show it on my face. And I was like, I was trying not to show it on my face. I tried to act like a business, like, I'm, oh, oh. Okay, y'all I want to jump and leap for joy because I have my own office because I thought I was gonna have a cube I literally thought I was gonna have a cube so when I f a week later I find out from my boss I find find out that yeah I interviewed for the verification person the verification processor but they had a meeting about me <laughs> And God blessed it and God touched it and God did what he do. <laughs> and they decided I would be better because I knew the regs that I would be better in the compliance. So it's only three of us in compliance. That's my associate director, my um, another guy that he and I have the same role and uh, just three of us. And each one of us have our own office and um, didn't know I was part of management until the, the second week of being there. <laughs> A couple of days after being there, I was like, oh, oh, oh okay. So, y'all, I couldn't get, let, let me explain to y'all something right here. Because this right here going to bless your soul. I couldn't get promoted at my last job. I had to leave. God had to make me leave my last job to get promoted. Y'all don't know what I'm, y'all, I feel the presence of God right now. God had to make me leave my last job because I was being overlooked and I was being used and I was being abused. God had to let me leave my last job to promote me on a new job. We can't, who does that but God? Y'all, I, when I tell y'all while I was out of work, I had more money when I was out of work than when I was working. And I won't work in that many hours at my part-time job to really talk about. But I was, it, it, it's, it, it just, I don't know, I'm speechless sometimes of what God does in my life. When I was out of work for that month, it felt like two months that I was out. And I kept saying two months. My son was like, Ma, it was only one month. I was like, yeah, you're right, it is one month. But while I was out, y'all, my mortgage was paid all the way up to October. My car payment was paid all the way up through September. <laughs> Bills were paid. Lights were paid. Speaking of that, I need to make a note. I need to make that payment probably the next couple of days. But things were paid. I, we didn't have to struggle. We ate out more then than we do when I work. <laughs> I mean, literally, like, 
we got to and the, i remember that the day that i turned in the notice god kept telling me trust me trust me and everything i kept open i opened a book to read and kept saying trust god trust god everything trust the lord with all my heart everything kept saying trust god trust god trust god and i kept saying trust god and i kept holding on to what god had the promises that god had for me god y'all not knowing and now i'm on week three of the job i love it at first i was scared i was being that i was gonna jinx myself and i knocked on wood i was like Oh my God, I really like the job, but I'm scared to say I like it because I'm scared that cause this, I'm more, I want to jinx myself. But God have it under control. God is the one that did this. God is the one that allowed me to get another job. And I'm getting ready to resign from my second job only because I'm getting ready to start school and I don't want to work two jobs and start school and work and go to school because my second, my part-time job want, want us to work as if we full-time and I can't do it because I'm working every Saturday, I'm working every Sunday, I'm working all through the week and I can't do it. It's not going to allow me to do my schoolwork. So being that I'm paying for this schooling mm -hmm, with school loans, I definitely need, um, I definitely need to get this, you know, get it resolved and get it, uh, excuse me, get get rid of this job, uh, second job. Um, so I'm using my vacation time for this week there. I'm trying to use my time up so that um, I can go ahead and, and resign and focus on school. And then if I go decide to go back later, then I can do that because um, because of leaving in a good standard. But I just wanted to come back. I know this video is long because I'm going on 21 minutes again. But I wanted you all to know the God that we serve. He will not let you down. And I, I y'all, I, I, every time I think about how God did this, it just made me throw my hands up and tell him thank you. Because of, I know that it was nobody but God. And y'all didn't see me. I didn't hardly do any videos. I didn't post any videos because God had me at a place where he had just me isolating the whole world and just trusting him. And that's what I had to do. I had to just trust God. It had nothing to do with nobody else. It had something to do with just me and God. And so I hope this video encouraged someone out there that is going through and you don't know if you really hear the voice of the Lord because the enemy will try to tell you, oh, that wasn't God that told you that. Oh yeah, I said that on many days when I was out. God, did I really just leave a job paying me this much? And did, did I really just leave that? And did I really just do that? But God says, I'm your provider. I'll provide for you. And he provided, guys. He provided for me and my son. My son had the best back to school clothing, you know. And then I even went through some clothes and gave them away um, to someone else that needed them um, for him um, in his sizes. And I just I just posted on Facebook. And whoever contacted me first, they got them. They got like 20, I want to say 21 pairs of jeans and uh 12 or 21 or something like that and some shirts jeans look like they never even been worn and bless somebody else you know and my son had got everything he wanted for school all the shoes he wanted all the clothes he wanted because of my faithfulness to god and this ain't just happened because i'm just doing whatever no ma'am this happens when you are living right and you are living according to the word of god You've got to live according to the word of God. Well, guys, my time is up. You guys take care. Um, don't forget to thumbs up the video, video. Don't forget to subscribe to take this journey along with me. And don't forget to be the best you that you can be. But like I said, you got to live holy. You got to live right. And I ain't saying I always have because I've done my dirt. But I'm trying to encourage you out there to hold on to God's unchanging hands. Hold on to his word. Hold on to and stay close to God. Hold on to him and watch him open up the doors of heaven and pour out many blessings to you. When I tell you, I never thought, never thought that I would be leaving a job. I've never even, I've been working since I was 16 and ain't never been out of a job for a month. But God had me get rest that month. He had me just 
being easy that month. He just had me just clearing my mind that month because he was transforming me into the mindset and where he wanted me to be. So stop having a cube mentality and start having an office mentality. <laughs> Bye guys.